Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm a sports journalist from Hungary and for the next 11 months I'm gonna become a Fort Relaza fan and here's why. Have you ever had a football manager save where you felt like I don't want to play with my own club that I usually play with. I don't want to play in my home country. I want to have an adventure. I want to set on and, and see some new places, some new rules, maybe grow into liking that club and get to know them and their style and culture. Well, I have. And that kind of sparked the idea for me to, what if I try to emulate that in real life? Obviously, I'm not going to be a manager, but maybe just follow the games, maybe just watch as much as possible and grow to, to like a club somewhere else in the world that I would have not have a chance to grow in love with. Obviously, I don't have a lot of followers throughout social media, but I did ask them from which area should I pick if they were to be involved or if they wanted to follow this little adventure of mine and the vast majority was still in Europe but then I thought it's it's about me and my ex experiment to say so um, and I really want South America I, I don't follow it that much I, I know the major competitions there and I, I know a lot of teams by name but I just don't know what they represent I don't know much about them let's just go with one and then obviously, it's uh, the, the major question, which club? I could have picked a few ones which would be obvious to pick as a Hungarian. There's Panyarol, who just signed Christian Badoc, who is set to become the first Hungarian to play in Copa Libertadores. That would have been an interesting choice, especially with uh, Diego Forlan on the wheel. I could have picked Corinthians, uh, which is a long shot, but hear me out. Uh, Corinthians was inspired by Corinthians, ca Corinthian casuals from England, um, which has a huge connection. They even played, I, I don't have to tell you about all that story, but they, they did even meet at one point in Brazil and played the game against each other. Uh, I've been to a couple of Corinthian Casuals games. As a matter of fact, they were in Hungary last summer to play at the Agri Erbstein tournament, which was a lovely, lovely story. Um, basically, the Corinthian Casuals have been in Hungary before and with uh, a club resurrected from that time. Uh, it was a nice story arc. To, to follow up and, and meet. I will I will leave a bunch of links in the description, comments, wherever I can. Uh, if you want to read about it, it's lovely. But throughout Corinthian Casuals, then Corinthians, it w could have been a good choice. Or the third one, uh, everybody knows what happened to Chape Coense. I Sorry, my pronunciation is off. This series is gone up be all about mispronunciations but I think every football fan in the world have heard what happened there and uh, we all felt that really so every they they deserve every support they can get so that could have been one but then yet again I turned to Twitter to see maybe there is someone with a certain club they would really like me to to watch or put my opinion on it and then someone actually did mention Fortaleza and uh, I, I did a little bit of research on, on every suggestion and it just something about this club really grabbed my attention I can't I can't pinpoint what was the the absolute point that that won me over it's a it's a club with a rich history, uh, a, a wonderful set of supporters by the looks of it, and a historic first season with international football in uh, Copa Sudamericana. So 
every little bit of detail just really spoke to me and then I felt uh, this is it oh, this, this has to be it um, many of you who are watching this probably saw the little video I, I made I just decided to try to to make a fun video to um, announce that I have made my decision uh, just sort of to practice it but the reception blew my mind alone you've been absolutely fantastic to me even though I, I'm just a random Hungarian dude who decided to follow your game so I would like to thank you everybody who has decided to pop a, little, a nice message uh, a nice comment about it retweeted it well whatever with, with that you, you you got involved, you won me over, you swooned me, there is no doubt about that. I'm really, really excited to see uh, what this journey and season holds for me. I will not make a lot of videos, it's not going to be a weekly thing, it's not going to be a regular thing. Every now and then, uh, when I have a little bit of free time and motivation and uh, a story to tell, I will make a short, a, a much shorter video. Um, I was thinking about making making a video about the history of the club, but I feel like I'm not understanding Brazilian leagues and football and tournament in general to make that, and I don't want to share misinformation. So I think I will scratch that. But I do have another idea in the making. But I do have another subject that I I would like to make a video of. Which could be really fun for today's wise and uh, it's about a Hungarian player who has been to Fortaleza. So drop me a message if you know who that is. Um, other than that, I think just every now and then uh, I will share my opinion, uh, favorite players, uh, favorite games, stuff like that. Uh, you can give me some suggestions. What would you like to hear an opinion of from an outsider? Because let's face it, I'm still an outsider. Um, and who knows, maybe one day I can make it to a game, maybe uh, I, I was actually debating whether or not to order a jersey. Because that would be that would be really cool to have a Fortaleza jersey. Maybe on the wall when I do have videos like this. I don't know, I'm, I have a, a lot of ideas and very, very limited free time for this. But hopefully you will enjoy it. And hopefully you will not be offended by my <laughs> um, my mistakes because rest assured I'm I'm going to have mistakes all along. Uh, if you want to play along, then play along. Pick a team. I strongly encourage everyone to to pick teams. It's a great way of learning about different tournaments, different championships, different rules, different teams, different stories. It's all about the stories. I think for me it is. Um, so I strongly encourage you to do so, and if you want to, you can uh, use the adopt a club hashtag so we can all connect and discuss. So I hope you enjoyed my ramblings, and uh, bora leal!